Somebody will be by to take your order shortly. Thank you. What is this? You're playing hostess? David's short-staffed. I'm helping him out. Laura? No one volunteers to deal with the hungry public without an ulterior motive. If you're trying to win him back, just make sure your next paying job requires an I-9. Not funny, Elle. Okay, look, I know we never really talked about that thing that we haven't been talking about this whole time, but I know you had your reasons. And I love you no matter what, so let's not let this change anything between us. I would love that. Hey, why didn't you tell me Bernadette was leaving? She just paid her bill in cash and bolted. T Great. I try and make an honest living and I can't even last a week. David, you're doing fine. The food here is excellent and your guests don't even know you're understaffed today. Lauren, I appreciate what you're doing, okay? I do. But how am I supposed to believe a single word you say? And all you ever did was lie to me. You think that's what I wanted? Well, it doesn't matter. Turns out that I never knew you at all, so... You're right. You don't know me. Nobody knows me. I was never good enough for my father. I'd bring home a 98%. He'd ask me why it wasn't 100 got into ULA, why not Harvard? I wanted him to accept me. So if you're wondering why I put myself through hell night after night, hating myself through every horrible moment, it was so I could bring home that MD and prove to him that I'm worthy of his love. And that's not an excuse for hurting you. But now you know who I am. Oh, don't tell me you're here to be treated for a kitchen burn. Um, uh, Bernadette Reese posted her review. And? I don't know. I was wondering if you'd read it with me. In a nutshell, the new call is an incredible experience. The food was memorable and the staff is charming. New ownership has done this place right. Not bad. Not bad? <laughs> David, this is great. You loved it. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. Look, I, I know there's still a lot of hurt left to heal. I just hope that yesterday proved to you that you and I are still a good team. Young, can I talk to you for a second? Kind of in the middle of something, Pregan. It's important. It's all right. I got to get back to Cole anyway. I'll uh, see you at home. What, Drew? What? Do you recognize this valve? Of course I do. It's the one Dr. Mancini invented. I found one inside Kevin Hartston when he died two days ago. He came in complaining of a headache. He died in my arms 36 hours later from a massive cerebral hemorrhage. Which is why you were taking his blood. I couldn't tell you until I had it tested, but I found traces of the valve's antimicrobial materials. You're trying to tell me that the valve is leaching toxins into the bloodstream? Four other patients who've been treated with the M valve, including the one I took this from, died in the last year from strokes, <laughs> all with platelet malfunctions. Lauren, you are part of Mancini's operating team. You need to know this. You're treating people with this thing all the time. <sighs> Look, I know Mancini's like a god in this hospital, but how many patients have to die before someone exposes the truth?